it's a Wednesday in Vegas, and we got some shows back, guys. We're setting up for the gift show down at the World Market. That's usually a pretty sizable one. Of course, uh, if you go to World Market, they still have the Uber rideshare area closed off, so uh, you gotta pull in and uh, throw your hazards on. I guess that's the deal. It's been like that on the handful of drops and pickups I've had down there. Uh, I'm not sure what they're doing, so be careful on uh, Grand Central down there if you got traffic coming behind you, because you can't even get all the way off the road. But I want to talk about Chasing Surge, and if I already did a video on this three years ago, I would have said absolutely not. It's ridiculous to chase Uber Surge. But times have changed. Of course, most of you should know we do have like a, it's called a sticky surge. So if you pass through an area with like a $12 and enter one with a $6, you should have the $12 still attached. Um, of course, at the airport, um, if you're new at this, Uber always says only applies at airport, but it pretty much applies anywhere if you drive through the airport zone and get it attached. Like today, I was going to my gym, which is a half a mile from the east entrance to the airport where typically the highest surge is. And I said, oh, I can go to the gym later because it was $20 surge. So I drove over, Yeah, I got 20 attached. Um, Uber sent me the first ride a little south. I looked at the ride, there was nothing attached to it. So I let it scroll through and went back down to connect only and pulled a little closer to the airport. You know, if you get behind Walmart there on Patrick, um, that's where you want to be. You'll get the airport surge attached. Occasionally you'll get airport rides too, but sometimes you'll get a Walmart ride. And the great thing about, you know, I know a lot of people hate Walmart rides because, you know, you're going to be packing groceries typically. Um, not always though. Sometimes people just have a few bags, but the great thing about generally about grocery store rides is, is people are creature of habit creatures of habit and they, they tend to shop within five to ten minutes of home so it's usually going to be a short ride so if you get a nice sticky surge attached it's well worth it um, but the thing is man yeah I mean if you're in a dead zone near you know on the strip or the resort corridor or somewhere near it and you see like 12 bucks surge a mile away over at MGM typically when the surge is like that it doesn't go from 12 to zero real quickly and if you you know you're a mile or three four minutes away um, it makes a hell of a lot of sense to go try to get a $12 surge attached for your next hopefully five to ten minute ride um, and you know keep your eye on it on your other phone if you have access to seeing what's going on uh, in the other area I mean as soon as I accept I go down to connect only and go get that ride and it, it, it's been working out well um, you know, if you're in a 325 surge and 875 is half a mile away, just think about that. Getting picking up 550 extra for driving a half a mile, you're not going to get that with the riders in your car. So you might as well go after it if it's close by um, and traffic is really light and easy to um, fight through to get to that area. So it does make sense on Uber now to chase these higher surges. Um, you know, that ride today, my first ride, it's usually something I wouldn't do, but I had 20 connected and I wasn't in destination filter and the pickup was 10 miles away. So you know, I texted my rider. I said, hey, I'll be there in about 15 minutes. She said, fine, no problem. Ended up being a multiple stop ride. Uh, Semi-responsible parent. She stayed in the car with her kid, but we had to go get his lunch at Smith's and take him to the school and then take her home. Uh, but she at least got to call California, even though she lives in a complex in Vegas and was able to get her unemployment squared away for the break. <laughs> but the point is, yes, um, do it if it makes sense, if it's nearby. I mean, don't drive five miles for five bucks a surge. Um, it's likely to be gone when it's that low of an, an amount. But when you see these double digit surges, they typically don't fall off. I'm all at once, they'll decrease and still, you know, getting, you know, nine bucks attached to your next two mile ride. Um, and also, um, likewise, I, I told you, everyone, I, I use the uh, destination arrive by filter quite a bit when I come out just to stay in the zone and get my short rides and increase my opportunities for, you know, tips, cash, commissions. 
things of that nature. Um, but the uh, you know, Uber claim, well, they say, you know, search isn't guaranteed if you're in destination filter. It almost always gets attached. Again, it's not gonna be perfect, but you know, I, I know drivers love posting screenshots of you know, Uber charged these riders 82 bucks and paid me 26. For every ride like that, you know, there's a ride like mine where this passenger, or I got paid 35.80 for doing this all in, maybe including the long pickup. And I factored that into the equation too, because I, I knew I'd get about four to six bucks attached to the ride and there was light traffic. Um, but you know, she paid 18 bucks for the ride. So Uber lost 17 bucks on this ride. They don't make money on every ride. Um, again, they're in business to make money. So, and I, I would think you'd want them to make money so they stay in business so you can stay driving. If, if you enjoy driving and enjoy the extra money or you use it to feed your family, um, you know, just uh, take a look at your maps closely, you know, depending on time of day, it's it's been really bizarre here. I'm, I'm seeing more drivers coming out on the weekends. So that's um, put some, you know, thrown some wrenches into picking up surge on um, busier weekends typically, but you know, Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesdays, man. Wednesdays, usually the slowest day in Vegas or Tuesdays, Wednesdays. I mean, you pick up some nice surge and then you don't have to work as hard. You don't have to chase these rides. And again, be careful with the schools. They're open. If you're out there driving early in the morning or uh, mid afternoon, you know, know where you are. So you're not picking up rides with, uh, unaccompanied minors and yes call get a sense it's your vehicle you're a contractor you're not supposed to pick them up per ubers you know terms of service right but um you shouldn't anyway it's just a major potential risk for you in my opinion um and um you know these parents need to need to learn you know they either got to go with on the ride or get a car or get a friend with a car who's willing to take them uh, or willing to take their unaccompanied minor. Anyway, hope that's helpful. Um, just, all you can do is stay positive and focus on what's right for you. You got to figure out the cadence and a, you know, basically just uh, when you go out and drive, you got to figure out the strategy that works best. Um, and again, in, in sedans or, you know, 80% of the rides, um, long rides generally don't make a lot of sense I mean, unless there's a, a nice fat surge attached to them um, they just you're going to end up in an area where you're less likely to get rides close by um, and you got to factor that in you know you're only making money when your your wheels are rolling with people in the car generally you know unless you do take the long pickups which I generally don't do but um, again, you gotta you gotta do the math quick in your head. Does this make sense? And yeah, thirty five bucks makes sense um, for uh, you know I think it was about forty one minutes all in. That's still fairly decent money, uh, especially on a Wednesday. You know, at like eight thirty, I think I took that ride. All right, get out there, be funny, make money.